on, everybody, Z here, and welcome to Before We Leave. We're checking out Before We Leave. Uh, I'm going to start off as the first 30. If it gets popular and you guys enjoy it, let me know. Leave a like on the video, comment why you enjoy it, and uh, we'll throw it into a series. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Now, I'm not going to do the tutorial just because I feel like this is a fairly easy, fairly chill colony builder game. So I'm going to go into a new game. Uh, difficulty settings, number of planets, five. Oh, game seed, one, two, three, four, five, six is optional. Uh, no, eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Yeah, okay. Uh, tutorial, I don't want to, well. Difficulty presets, default tutorial. You know what? We'll let it do the tutorial within the game, okay? All right, cool. Let's go ahead and let's start this up. Uh, but yes, anyways, basically this is a, a colony builder where you can go from planet to planet uh, looks like we have five planets in this system and uh yeah i don't know i'm, I'm excited to check it out in bygone times humanity descended into bunkers to escape the galactic disasters only centuries later when the cause of uh calamity was forgotten did humanity emerge having lost all but the remnants of the past history and knowledge they began once again on a planet born anew all right basic controls finally time after so long your peeps have emerged from their underground shelters on the surface again hold down the right mouse button to move around your home and zoom in and out with the middle mouse button okay so uh whoo, look at that we can also use wasd zoom in and out okay looks good Savage village let's get your peeps settled in by building some roads and some huts all buildings must be placed next to an existing road uh once you're done with building you can right click to cancel the building you've selected okay so oh this looks super cool oh i like the hexagonal designs i like this i like the tiles okay so we have like obviously things here transmogrifier boulders i'm gonna guess uh stone ruined generator what is this boulders uh ancient technology green highland okay you can rotate the camera using q and e fantastic construct three huts construct three tiles of road okay so uh we probably want one two three right because these have to be connected with the road is that correct i think that's correct okay and then we want huts so let's see here it's a good place for a hut maybe buildings must be fit on a road okay so what if we do i don't want to take any land that's gonna be like super useful you know so like i feel like trees are gonna be for wood i feel like these might possibly be for farms and every tile i put a road on i can't use a tile as a as a a uh, as a uh, like you know i can't use that tile if that makes any sense so if i put a road here and here we could do one, two, three off of that. Let's do one, two, three. Okay. Uh, construct three huts, construct three tiles of road. Oh my gosh, we've done the things. We've done the things. Oh, look at our little guys. They're so cute. They kind of look like, um, oh gosh, they look like those little wooden figurines. I can't remember what they're from. Like, I remember them from like when I was younger. So like kind of old, I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Like the little wooden figurines, you know? Anyways, uh, great. While the shelter slowly produces food and water, you'll need more and fast. All right. So let's go ahead. Uh, grows potatoes. Oh, hold on. What is this? Bonus from being next to fields. One nearby field equals two potato storage. Uh, bonus from next to being accommodation. One nearby accommodation. Production speed by 10%. Bonus from being next to wells. Uh, production will be slowed by pollution okay so let's go ahead and let's get a well 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 <laughs> let's get a well and then let's get a potato must be facing road shoot uh the road is going to be a problem i'm already gonna tell you that right now uh let's get a potato right there because it's next to a well we could probably put another potato right here should we put another potato there? Let's put another potato right there. I feel like we should put potatoes here and here too, but then we'd have to have a road there and all the way over here, which means we have to go through all this stuff and it'd be a horrible pain, horrible, awful pain in the butt. Uh, okay, so we're not going to do that. Okay. Construct two potato fields. I did construct two potato fields. 
Now you need to build a wood cutter to get wood from your building. Place it near some trees uh, to get the wood faster. Okay, so wood cutter. Uh, let's see. Buildings must be facing a road, obviously. Obviously, no one must be facing a road. Um, uh, let's see. There's a bunch of trees like right here. So let's get a. Uh, let's do that, and we'll get a wood cutter. We'll put a wood cutter right there, and then we could also throw another field right here if we need to. Cause see, there's a there's a road tile. Oh, this is really cool. I like this. I like this. Okay, so we've got what is this? Wood tools and stone construct a woodcutter near trees okay so we've done that now do i have like a, a number of oh hello show food and drink resources listed on the island we're losing resources now your uh peeps need help relearning the ways of, of their ancestors to survive build and explorers how to gather items from heaps of ancient technology and build a library to help them learn and remember okay so a library and explorer's hut and a library. Okay. So the explorer's hut here. Nothing really else we can do with that spot. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to see like how, let's see, we could probably put some buildings in here. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's get a road and go like that. And then we can put our library right here. And then we can put another building right here because there's nothing there. Oh, you've run out of stone after building the well. And now the library needs more. Let's fix that. Uh, use the demolish tool to break up some boulders into usable stone. Select the demolish tool uh, and click on the boulders you want to remove. Demolishing boulders is hard work, so you'll have to wait while your pupils get the job done. Okay, so let's say I want these boulders removed. Demolish. Perfect. Okay, so that's going to get demolished. Easy enough. Super easy. Great. Uh, you got the stone that you need. Now you can demolish forests that are in your way. But unlike trees that woodcutters cut down, forests that you demolish won't grow back. Try to demolish as few as you can to make space for building. A useful tip, when you're laying out new roads or demolishing stuff, you can click and drag to create a long road or demolish an area. It saves a heap of time. Okay, cool. Uh, wait for library to finish construction. Look at our little peeps running around. This is so cute. What is this? Ancient technology? Oh, because uh, explorers. Explorers, oh no, are going after ancient technology, right? Generate research by gathering and processing ancient technology from piles from around the island. Okay, so they can go out without roads to go do this stuff. So we've got uh, there, there. We got a few things. Uh, and then we don't know what's going on with the rest of the planet because we apparently can't see it. Okay, oh, what's this? <gasps> Established village. Now that your village is set up, it's time to think about a bigger goal. Exploring the world on a ship. You're going to need more tools to build your ship. Amongst other things, there's an ancient metal device nearby that, according to legend, can turn one thing into another. Perhaps it can help. Okay, so this thing. Action. Uh, tools. Contains 0 of 20. Creates 5 per action. So 10 woods can turn into 5 tools. Okay. That's cool. Look at these. Oh, look at the abandoned buildings. Huge remains of the ancients can be mined for stone. Oh, they have like a mech too. Rusting Hulk. Oh, that's cool. That's super cool. Oh, look at our library. Oh, that's super neato. I like it. Create tools using the transmogrifier. Uh, you are currently transmogrifying. I like it. Okay, so the woodcutter replenishes trees. Contains two of five, uses one per action. So are you gonna grow a new tree? Is that what's gonna happen? I'm curious, hold on, let's see what happens here. Give it a second. It does grow a new tree, okay. So wood is an infinite resource. Got it. Wood is infinite because the trees grow back. Okay, all right, cool, I like that. Uh, we're gonna wait on this transmogrifier. I'm not gonna do anything else yet. I'm not gonna do anything else. I don't want to. Um, kind of want to take things slowly here. You know, I want to see what's going on. I want to understand what what we're doing. <gasps> oh my gosh! It's time to hit the books now that your peeps have access to that library you just built. They'll need to research how to gather stone and other min 
uh, other minerals. They can't repair the ship without them. But first, you should check out the top, uh, the game speed controls at the top. Yep. Uh, cool. There we go. Wants me to pause this, this, this. Awesome. Stone is an important resource and needs to be mined from the mountains up on top of the high ground. But first, you need to reach it. Research elevators and then build one against a cliff. Got it. Okay, so we're going to go with normal speed here. Gathering. Research. Oh, there's a whole tree of research. I love research trees. All right. Elevator. Five research. Uh, can we queue up more? No, we cannot. Okay. So elevator is being researched right now. Uh, and that's using green research, which I'm guessing is this stuff, right? Uh, ancient technology green. So there's 95 there, 103 there. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. 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 I like that. Um, water available allocated. Are, so are we still losing potatoes? Uh, oh, hello. When placing your elevator, you want to put it somewhere that will give you access to a decent amount of space on the high ground. It will also give you access to the mountains and rusty hulks up on top. Also, even elevators need to be constructed next to roads. So don't forget to place a road all the way up there to build where you want. Don't forget to use a transmog fire to make more tools if you're running low. Okay. So construct an elevator against, against the cliff. But hold on. Let's go ahead and let's get mining started. I can't. It won't let me. <laughs> I tried. Okay. So it wants me to get an elevator place. Now we have to place it next to a road. So if I place this... So say we placed it here. Elevators can be can't be placed next to tiles that are already occupied. Must be placed next to a road. Now, do I want to place them right next to one of these, or can we build? We can build roads up here, right? Yeah, surely we can. Okay, so we need to build a road. Good gosh, we need to build it like this whole area right here is going to turn into a road. That's fine. Uh, this way. Okay, and then let's grab the elevator. This guy. Boom. All right. So an elevator is going to get made there. You currently can't place an elevator. Make sure that you have a road. Yeah, I already did that. Construct an elevator against the cliff. Uh, I don't feel like we have enough food. 52 and 44. Should we go ahead and do... Um, we need more stone to finish this. Let's go ahead and get another field in here. Maybe that'll help with food. And then we might need more water, too. It kind of looks like we need more water. Okay, it looks like our elevator is about done. Hey, the elevator's done. Now that you can reach the top of the highlands, you need to work out how to get your peeps to mine that stone. So now we need to research mining. So if we go into here, go into research, mining, research that. Let it do its thing. And I'm going to guess we're going to have to put roads. What is this? A pile of boulders, demolish gives of three stone. Highland, no roads, 35% speed penalty. So like... I guess we just mine these whole mountains. Is that a thing? Like, are we seriously going to mine the entire highland? <laughs> no way. No way. I'm, I'm curious. Hey, okay. So potatoes are on the rise. So that's good. So yeah, we do need, we need to, we do need more water for sure. So let's see, where's a good area to have another water area so we can have more fields. I want to do it with the least amount of destruction. You know what I mean? Like maybe a water thing here and then field, field there if we need to. Okay. Time to build your stone quarry. Important. The quarry must be placed next to a mountain and also next to a road. So you may need to construct a road from your elevator over to the mountain you want to mine from. Uh, the quarry is also building that pollutes its local area. Pollution affects how happy your peeps are. And how efficiently they work. Choose where you place your buildings that produce pollution wisely. Oh, so these are contains remnants of stone. Oh, got it. These are the stone mines. Okay. All right. Well, we need to place some roads up here. So let's go ahead and hit these like that. And then let's place a mine on. Style's already occupied. What? What do you mean? 
Uh, mine stone out of mountains. The building's supposed to be facing a road. This building requires an adjacent mountain. Oh, these are the mountains right here? Oh, wait a sec. Wait, what are these then? This is a mountain. Highland. Mountain. Interesting. This tile's already occupied. What if I demolish that road, that road, and that road? And let's say we put this here. Aha! And then we could always run a road this way. Got it. What are these? Rusting Hulk. 1,000 iron ore. Okay. Build a quarry next to the road and a mountain. Got it. So that looks pretty good. Uh, we are still running out of water, though. Water is not good. Not good at all. Need more stone to finish this. We don't have any stone currently. We also don't have any trees for wood. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to throw a road in right here. And then I want to throw in a... Oh, hello. Now that your poops are mining stone, you're well on your way to setting sail and discovering unseen lands. To find them, you'll need to repair ancient devices to make that old ship on the coast seaworthy. Which is this one right here. Okay, research repair at the library. So let's do repair. Research that bad boy. But I want to throw another uh, wood deal right here. So what is that? Is that under production right there perfect and look at there's four trees right there so that should work out wonderfully uh and then can we get more houses in here can we get another house maybe right there and right there and then uh can we get some more water yes we can we can get water here and water here okay we need to make sure food and water is good to go so let's go ahead and grab another field and throw it right there too okay all right we should we should be good I feel like the additional two wells and the additional field with the additional two houses will probably will probably make us okay. What is this? What's the deal here? No peeps. Okay. Oh, this is so wonderful. Don't use don't forget to use the transmitting fire to make tools. Oh shoot. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, but we don't have any wood. Is there upgrades for this? Uh, bonuses, workers. Option for how workers will fetch and deliver resources. Now nah, we're good. Excellent. Repairing the ship is going to take a lot of peeps and resources, increase the population of every village to support the work that needs to be done. Expand your village to support 25 peeps. Did you know that your buildings can get bonuses and penalties depending on what they're next to? For example, huts placed next to other huts can accumulate, accommodate more peeps, but a well-placed hut next to other huts will produce uh water more slowly in the preview information when you're placing a building you can see all the potential bonuses then select the bonus okay cool uh let's go ahead and demolish this and we're gonna because we're gonna throw a house there too how do i know how many peeps we can support oh 17 of 17 got it okay so let's build a house right here Bonuses plus two. Um, where else would we want a house? Oh, this is going to produce an extra food and extra water. That's kind of cool. This tile's already occupied. What are you occupied by? I don't think this is going to work here, though, because I don't think this road's going to go boop out there. Well, let's try it. Let's demolish that and we'll see if we can get, uh, see if we can get another house in there. So we can hold 23 right now. Whoa! Our, oh, we made tools, wonderful. Oh, we can place this here. Okay. All right, we can support 27 peeps. Water's looking good. Food is meh. Uh, let's, you know what? Oh. Wow, your peeps are accumulating a lot of stuff. Let's research and build a warehouse to store the surplus resources in. No warehouses require two tiles for construction. Okay. So we probably can't store any more food. Research. Oh, gardening. 
Oh, what is that? I wonder what that is. I'm super curious now. Island one. Hmm. Whoa! Whoa! Because our peeps are underground. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, there is upgrades. Why is there music coming from this one? Upgrade building. Uh, you need house technology in order to upgrade. Okay. Warehouse research complete. Okay, so let's get a warehouse in here. I don't really want to put a warehouse there. I don't really want to put it here. Well, let's see what else. What else we got? Where do we got? Mm, we're probably gonna need to be able to get to that boat. This is a good spot. We'll throw it there. So warehouse takes two tiles, but that's gonna give us more. So my guess is that potatoes maybe were a little over like stored. We had a little bit too many of them. Wood is on the rise. Tools, wait, uh, available one allocated is four. Should we make some more? Oh, you're still working on tools, okay. All right, choose which resources you want to store in your warehouse. Warehouses only have limited space. The more types of resources you store, the less space there will be for each type. Okay. So add uh, wood. Okay. You're so close to repairing the ship, you need a better source of tools uh, than the trans wagon fire. Time to find some iron in the highlands. Got it. Well, there's that, or there's these right here. So we're going to go this way. Uh, we're gonna go like that. Actually, no, this tile, we can undo that. I found some. Now, do we... Can be mine. So, do we throw a mine there? Elevator, warehouse. Oh, it's probably this, right? A quarry. Research metal work. That's what we need. Okay. Research metal work. Uh, iron mines, iron smelters, and tool smiths. Wonderful. So we'll get an iron mine here for these two, and then we can make some metal stuff. And we can make some tools and whatnots. Everything looks like it's on the rise. Potatoes do not look like they're on the rise, though. I think because we're at 27 or 27, we might need another potato farm right there. So we'll put it right there, right next to the water. Uh, then we might need to build a road around over here to this guy. Then I put a field right there because then that's the boat anyways, you know? Not beside a road. Yeah, see, we're going to have to do that anyways. Um, shoot. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to take down a tree if I, in order, if I, if I want to do this. Uh, unless I go here and here, but I want to get, I want to get another field right there. I want to kind of, I want to go over this way. Uh, what do we do? Do we demolish this? And throw a road like that? I guess we're going to have to. Let's do it. Oh, that is super unfortunately disgusting. I don't like that. There. We're going to have to demolish that. Oh, they're still going to get wood from this, though. Okay, cool. Uh, hold on. You're going to have to wait a second. There, there, and there. And then we can throw another garden right there. Did you know that on the card selected for the building, you can control the near to top to change the priority from getting resources? Oh, cool. Uh-huh. Uh Build an iron mine next to uh, the Rusty Hulks. Iron mine. What am I out of? I'm out of tools. So let's go ahead and get another thing of tools made up here. Oh, look. Our little things are getting smaller. Wait, no, they're not. This one... No, it's not. Never mind. I thought it was. <laughs> it's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> that thing is so cool. The transmogrifier. All right, we're going to put that right here. Boop. And look at that. Two of those right there. Good to go. Then we can actually throw another uh, stone mine right here if we wanted to on this guy. Wonderful. I'm liking this. I am liking this. This is cool. This is a lot of fun. Look at that. We're good there. We're good there. Uh, potatoes, water on the rise, looking solid. Tools. We could probably use another set of tools. We'll wait for that to get done. Uh, we've definitely got enough wood going right now. So very nice. Very nice indeed. We need to get the ship built, though. So we're going to wait for this to get going. Uh, build an iron mine next to the rusty hulk. I did that. Oh, it's still being built. Okay. And then I'm sure we're going to have other things we're going to have to build as well. We're probably going to have to build the iron smelter 
and a toolsmith. I got to build both of these. Um, wait, hold on. What did it say? Turns iron into ore. Causes heavy pollution, which gives peeps that walk on it. Blah, 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 blah. Happy depending on how bad it gets. Workers get less happiness. Uh, causes gloom. Okay, so it looks like... Oh, here we go. To process the iron ore, you'll need an ironsmith and toolsmith. There's special buildings that require power. Fortunately, your peeps, peeps have found an old generator in your town. Repair the ruined generator and then build your smelter and toolsmith. You'll need to continue to make tools with the trans fire until this is all set up. Okay. Let's go and repair that. Uh, let's go ahead and send that again with more tools. But I'm feeling like we need to put the um, the nasty stuff up here. You know what I mean? Like these? I'm feeling like this. Oh my gosh. Look at the pollution area with this. Holy moly. Like, we need one here and here. Okay, so let's put that there. And let's put that there. Get those up there in the mountains, you know? Hopefully this covers this area. Oh, it's going to cause issues, though. Burns wood to generate power. One wood gets power. Well, you know what? These might not even work over here. I might have had to place them over here. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if power is like a global thing or we're going to have to. Um, or if we're going to have to have like some kind of conduits running power to and from something else. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so these. Hey, they look like they're actually working. For a small village, there's a lot that happens here. Look over what's available to manage your settlements. Peeps effectively. Uh, click the island, but island details button. It's the big green one. Okay. Uh, this panel has a whole lot of information for you as the explorer uh, as you need it. Arrange on resources, peeps, buildings. For now, take a look at the peep details. Here you can see every peep living on your island, along with things like what they're doing, a graph of how happy they are. Uh, you can click on the graph to make it bigger. For now, there's more to see, so close the island details panel. Oh, well, this is cool. We'll have, to, we'll have to look into that. Another thing you try to do is view a variety of overlays that show you information directly on the planet. Click the overlay button down in the corner to select one of the overlays from there. Okay, so here's an overlay. What is this? Building type. Show the icons for all different types of buildings. Oh! Excellent. There's uh, all sorts of information here about how pollution is spreading across the island, how happy your peeps are, how resources are flowing more. Uh, there are tooltips and on all the buttons that give you more information about what they'll show you for now. Close the overlay and get back to the normal view. Okay. See, that's really cool, though. Pollution. Oh, goodness. See, there's a lot of pollution there. A little bit there, nothing crazy. Happiness. People don't obviously like those places. They don't like this ship though either. Housing, effective, ineffective, and storage. Why are these ineffective? Oh, probably because I should have demolished this, put this there since there was already roads next to it. Hmm, maybe that's what it is. How are these ineffective? Inefficient. Maybe it's because they're so far away. Could be. Finally, you can uh, view detailed information about individual resources and how they're allocated in the top bar. Let's take a look at one of them. Maybe your tools. All right. Power. Uh, available and allocated. Available, allocated, available, allocated, available. Okay, all right, all right, cool. Open resource display on the top bar. I open the resource display. Oh, resource display? Where's the resource display? Production. Resources. Oh, it wanted me to click on tools. Okay. This is showing you a whole lot of things you've got. A line of showing how many of the resources you have available for use on the island. Out of the maximum you can store. A line showing you how many of the resources are allocated for each use, such as in construction or producing other resources. Okay. Uh, you can turn on the resource flow and resource storage overlays for for this resource, if you click on it, I'll take you to the building each time. The small slider underneath. Uh, available line lets you set an amount that is reserved for shipping and construction. This is really useful if you've got resources. If you got a resource that you keep using up when you're trying to ship it off to another island or keep it up for another building or something. Try them out. Then close. Okay. 
Your peeps are becoming unhappy. They're working hard and dealing with pollution from some of your buildings. Unhappy peeps will move and work more slowly. So it's definitely worth keeping them happy. As long as, uh, as well as looking in the peep details like you just saw, you can also check the happiness of a single peep by clicking on them. Okay. Select a peep and open their happiness. Uh, where's your happiness? No, 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 no. I want the, I need you. Statuses. What may help you people stay happy is to give them better food and drink. Let's plant some vegetables and grow some tea. Later on, you'll be able to also grow orchards, but they need a different climate than the one this island has. Okay, so we've got to do... Good gosh, the music is so loud! <laughs> okay, I had to pull down the music. It was loud. Research gardening. Plant two vegetable fields, plant two tea fields. Got it. All right, so gardening research. That's going to do its thing. So I feel like we just got a whole lot of information and just ran us through it. So, okay, allocated tools, zero unallocated tools, for space for tools. So we can choose zero, zero reserved for transport or construction. So we can reserve so many for transport. Okay, okay, so that makes sense. Uh, allocated iron. Okay, all right. I mean, hey, you know what? It is what it is. We'll, we'll figure it out along the way. Uh, we're doing research. So two vegetable fields and two tea fields. That's going to be exciting. Let's see. We could probably put. We could probably put a vegetable field here and a tea field here. Because those would be both next to roads. Um, maybe. Hmm. All right, gardening is complete. So we've got vegetable fields, grows a variety of vegetables, tea fields, grows a variety, grows tea. Perfect. Okay, so we could do vegetables there. Let's go ahead and pop that tile off. And then let's put a tea field there. And then let's see, are there any other tiles that are connecting to multiple things? Like with this one right here, actually we could pop that off because it's still connecting to everything. And then we can go ahead and plant another vegetable field there. And then let's just get a tea field right here. Why not? There. Okay. So there's the two tea fields, the two vegetable fields that we need. These happiness can be affected by the environment. Uh, larger buildings project project gloom project gloom around them which makes people keeps walking nearby unhappy but keeps walking near unpopulated empty spaces or forests will get a wilderness bonus bonus happiness okay interesting 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 finally you've you've done everything you need to do to repair the old ship oh it's about time repair that bad boy shall we we'll let them do their things um but we got tea How's food looking? We have no orchards. Tea gives people happiness. Fruit gives people happiness. Vegetables gives people happiness. Water and potatoes. Water and potatoes are like survival. Everything else is make them happier. Um, let's see. Happiness. Idle workers. Empty posts. Cycling through buildings with empty people slots. So we need to put a couple more houses in here, it looks like. Let's see if we can figure out a good spot for that. Um, this spot, see, they're working on that though. Let's see. What about here? Spots currently occupied. Hmm. I would put it over here, but this generator is kind of like, you know, making a, a nuisance of things. Then we need this, like, kind of, like, have a road going out if we want to go over this way. Well, I mean, we could put houses in here. Could build a whole new little housing district area, I guess. We could pop this in here. Of course, then we'd have to get rid of those. I don't really want to do that. You know what? I think the best bet is going to be put them right here. Uh, let's get rid of this one. 
Then we'll pop a house down right there. And then you know what? We're gonna do the same. Mm, maybe not. Maybe we won't put one there. We'll just start with one more house. Okay, so. Where was the unallocated? Empty post four. Three idle workers. Hopefully when this house gets in, we can get uh zero and zero. Zero and zero would be good. Well, I saw it go down to three at one point. Now it's at five. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't really help us a whole lot, did it? <laughs> Not really! <sighs> Darn it. Um. I mean, you don't want empty posts, you know? You want those posts always, always doing the things when they can. I'm trying to think, how many houses can we squeeze in here? So if I put a road here, 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 and here... We could get one, two, three. Or if I put one here, 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 and there. Actually, I wouldn't even, well, yeah. So if I put a road right there, we could get one, two, three, four. We could get a whole bunch more houses right here. We could fill like this whole area right here with houses, which would give us a whole bunch of more people. However, the food situation could be a lot worse, but then we could figure it out. I don't know, we'll have to see. We will have to see. I'm waiting for this boat to get built because we want to check this out. Because we don't know what else is out here. Look at that. We have the backhand of a planet. We have we have no idea. We don't know what's out there. Is this how people lived back in the old days? I can't even imagine. Oh, our boat's almost done. Our boat is done. Repair ship. Your peeps are sailing again. And they have so much to explore and learn. Try colonizing a new island to see what else is out there to discover. Select your ship and then left click where you want to move. You can even click out an empty space to move there. Once you find an island uh, you want to settle on, move the, the ship right next to it. Click on the colonize button to select where you want to start your new town. Oh my goodness. Waiting for crew. All right, it is time. Here we go. We're setting sail. Oh, we found a place already. It's super amazing. It's a little tiny place though. Wow, it was seriously that small. Wow, that was super tiny. I was thinking we were gonna find something bigger than that. Uh, all right, let's go right here. Yeah, fill those tiles and fill those tiles in. It's gotta be something somewhere, right? We need we need our next big island. Let's just go all the way out here. Oh, we got something. Um oh might be fairly good sized. Oh, there's something over here. Wait, over those clouds. Those were clouds, I think. Yeah, it's just calm down. It was clouds. Uh, that is a tiny, tiny island. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, what are these? Those are like out in the water. Oh, this is a snowy area. Okay, so we must have found a pole. Oh yeah, yep, it's cold there. It's cold there. I'm trying to find like a the next like a bigger place. <laughs> Don't look like there's any big places here though. Well, let's go over here. Come on, bud. We gotta find it. I mean, good gosh, we do have an entire planet here, huh? Oh, a little something here. Some ruins underwater. We got anything we got anything next to these ruins? Oh my gosh, all kinds of stuff here. That's pretty cool. Okay, I mean we got we got like a whole like you know shipwreck thing. 
curious how that's gonna how that plays into effect like how do we how do we do stuff with that you know what i mean okay so here's the other pole oh oh discovery the air shimmers from heat your ship has discovered a new island but there's no lush grass to be found anywhere it's a desert as far as the eye can see uh oh here i'll let's show that um you've heard of place ancient humans once buried treasure in places like this but you doubt any remains you can grow ne you can't you can grow nearly anything here but only on the fertile green tiles peeps that travel too far from the village will get fatigued it's hot out there you'll need appropriate clothing to prevent that oh well let's go uh let's get around this island let's see how big this island actually is here shall we looks like we got a little little oasis place here Oh, it is pretty big. Oh, whoa, what is this? You discovered a discovered a ruined spaceship, a relic of a bygone age. Your peeps investigating the spaceship wreckage. Uh, I think they'll be able to fix it. Uh, fix it up given time. Soon you could be sailing the stars as the ancients once did. Oh, this is exciting. This is a big island. Well, I thought it was a big island. It looks like it's a pretty big island. Wow, it was, it was so close to my other island. I just managed to go the wrong way. Discovered a new kind of ancient technology was once used to connect the entire planet. Gather it with your explorers to unlock the new secrets. What was it? Oh, was it the red stuff? Is that what it's talking about? I don't know. Okay, uh, ship sail over here. Must be this. Ship can't move on land. Well, of course not. Oh! There's kitty cats! There are kitty cats! Meow. Yeah. Um, okay. New kind of ancient technology. Yeah, that's super cool. Oh man, this game is pretty neat. I gotta say, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Uh, but that's gonna end this episode. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Uh, next episode, I have absolutely no idea what's going on, but we're going to, uh, we are going to colonize, uh, colonize this area right here, I think. I think this is a good area to colonize, don't you think so? I think so. Oh my gosh, we've done it. Boop! Dunskies! Holy jeez, we have to go all the way around this mountain. Uh, but yes, thank you so much again for coming out. This is Before We Leave. I'll have a link down below if you guys want to check it out. Um pretty fun pretty fun but if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like on the video and comment let me know what do you like about it i i i like it i like its simplicity it's easy like you know it's a it's a fairly easy game to play it's fun it's exciting i want to like see what happens when we get the spaceship um i'm curious about the five other planets thing like this just it, it looks like a good time it looks like a good time but uh you have a wonderful rest of your day i'll see you in the next one bye everybody <laughs>